What I like to do and what I suggest you do if you're a beginner and you're just getting started dropshipping is look for products that you can give away as f Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Pete. Welcome to another episode of the e-commerce empire builders. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how a beginner can never run out of winning products to find and also start selling. So let's get right into this. One of the first things that I always tell people when I'm even building out funnels for, for other people, or I'm, uh, I'm doing research for different kinds of products to sell. The very first thing that I always do is look at the different kinds of hobbies and niches that are out there. Okay. One of the biggest reasons a lot of people fail, in this business is that they sell you know general store products and the thing is you never want to just sell general products because you're gonna get general results if you do that okay what you want to focus on is selecting a, a passionate niche right if it's something that you enjoy doing even better okay a quick story is one of these uh, I was at an event a few years ago and I ran into somebody that was selling literally uh, access to a membership area where he was just showing people how he cooked meat right just smoking meats and he was charging people like 20 bucks a month or whatever it was for him to go live once a week and showing people how to do it so one of the first steps is to finding what is find something find one of these passionate niches right if you literally just go to Wikipedia right here like look at the amount of niches that are here and these are just general hobbies that you can find literally just about any single one of these there is a massive amount of buyers in and then there's also a massive amount of sellers that are in it okay so you can see here there's a ton of indoor hobbies if you scroll down there's a ton of outdoor hobbies there's a ton of indoor collection hobbies there's a ton of outdoor collection hobbies competitive hobbies both indoor outdoor observation hobbies there's never been a better time to dive into one of these niches and actually starting to siphon some of those buyers for yourselves and so one of the best things I've realized is why I love going into these kind of hobby uh, hobby niches it is because there's a lot of different sellers in that okay now what does that mean what do I mean when there's a lot of different sellers well you don't want to go into a hobby Hobby or a niche or sell products when there's like one authority in the space for example let's say you want to sell iPhones or, or you want to sell phones right you probably shouldn't do that right it's probably not a really good idea because you're probably most of the market share is going to Apple or Android right you're gonna be really struggling to take away that brand loyalty so anywhere where there's people have this brand loyalty towards uh, some sort of business or brand and where they're getting all of their products from I wouldn't touch it but that's the nice thing about hobbies is that usually there is isn't one of those huge one uh, huge like brand loyalty right so for example just taking because I, I saw as we were scro scrolling by here is golf right golf is a niche where there is a lot of brand loyalty in golf right there's a lot of brand loyalty in the golf niche right you have like the Titleist, Callaway right you have these brands where people are like love them but then there's also this other side of golf where people are consuming you know different kinds of golf balls different kinds of training aids different kinds of you know information products and there's a lot of opportunity there as well well and that's not even to say that you can't go and compete against a Calaware Titleist there's still a lot of people that make tremendous amounts of money online selling like golf clubs even though they might be competing against brand loyalty right so this is why I like hobbies a, a lot of hobbies right they also a lot of people that are in hobbies they want to try different things right they want to see what can they try to kind of become better at what they do or you know maybe try a, a new way of doing one of their hobbies already okay so like I said one of the first things that I love to do is go into uh, just look at all the different hobbies that are out there especially when we're building out funnels for, for individuals we always want to pick a niche or pick and uh, pick some sort of hobby that that person kind of enjoys so maybe you don't have really any hobbies right now maybe your hobby is just you know trying to start an online business come in here and start looking around all of these different hobbies that are in out here and try and figure out one that you would get behind okay one of the uh, one I actually had a, a coaching call with one of one of you guys we give away a coaching call every single session uh, every single video that we drop here all you have to do is drop a comment down below but one of the uh, sessions that I was on with one of you guys you told me that you were really passionate about basketball and you played it every single day but you were scared to start a business around it so you started a, a business in like a completely unrelated thing the thing is guys you can start a business even if you're not like a total pro at what you do okay all you have to do is be one step ahead of your customers which most of you are okay now think about this that person that I talked with maybe you're watching us right now is that you told me that oh you don't think Think you can start a basketball niche because you don't feel an expert you feel like you're an expert in it but guess what there's other people that are probably starting you know a basketball niche even though 
they know nothing about it because they, you know, they might have some self beliefs about some other uh, business that they actually want to get into, right? So there's nothing better than getting into a business that you actually enjoy and growing with your business. Okay. So let's, let's take a look at some of these, right? There's a ton of these different kinds of niches. And what I love to do after I kind of uh, look at these is I like to just pick one out and just go to Amazon with it. So you can see like here, like surfing, survivalism, swimming, Taekwondo, there's so many, right? So let's just go to Amazon, like type in, for example, survival, because I know that's a, that's a great, uh, that's a great niche that a lot of people are in. So the one of the first things I like to do is don't click enter yet. But when you type in survival, right, you could start seeing all the different kinds of categories in it, right? So you can see survival food, regular, just survival, survival book, survival shovel, bracelet, whistle, food, 25 years shelf life. See, that's something I didn't even know about, right? Backpacks, seeds, tabs, right? So, and then if you do a space, you'll even see even more stuff, right? Survival guides. There was a couple other, a uh, couple other things added in here as well. So let's just, just type in survival and see what we get. Now, when I come here and as a beginner, you really want to focus on this, especially if you're just getting started in drop shipping as a beginner, you want to focus on products that again, have a lot of different sellers. You don't want to go into a niche that there's brand loyalty. And so when we come here, we can see that there's a ton of different sellers here. There isn't like that one go-to brand. There's a lot of people selling stuff here. The next thing that I want to look for, especially on this Amazon list, on the Amazon keyword for my niche is I want to see, are there information products being sold here as well as physical products as well. Okay. So you can see here, there's, you know, the very first thing right here on the sponsored listing is, is some sort of information product, right here. There's a ton of different physical products, another information product, right? A book here. And there's a lot of good mixture. Even when I scroll, start scrolling down the page, there's even like an app here. It looks like for, for, for survival, right? And there's a lot of different buy uh, sellers here as well. So how do you know which kind of like, which kind of product to, to, to kind of go into which kind of product to pick? So what I always like to do is I always like to go into like the best sellers and see, see what they're about. So let's click into these, these first couple, right? So when we go into these, what we can actually start seeing is, is, you know, how much does this, this company actually sell? Right. How much of these units is, are these people actually selling? So when we scroll down to this section under the product details, right, we can see this category called Amazon bestseller rank and it's ranked 1691 in sports and outdoors. So anything under 20,000, I, I consider a winning product. That means there's market demand in it. Okay. So this being 1691, there's probably, you know, close to a hundred, if not more units being sold of this product each and every single day. And I'll do this to a, a, a lot of them. And I just, I'm just looking at like, Hey, well, how much, how much people are, 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 how much are they spending in this niche? Right? Like how much, how many people are actually buying this product here? Look at this one. This one's ranked 175 in electronics. So this one's, this one's obviously crushing it. And what's even more important about this one, which is interesting is that there's a ton of people selling the same exact thing, right? So you can see this one is get is ranked 175 and there's look how many others there are. They're basically the same exact thing. And that's like, some of you might be like, Oh man, that's so much competition. Like why would I can't eat? I can't do this. I can't sell this. We're only using Amazon to validate these products to make sure that there's market demand for them. We are not selling on Amazon, right? We're building our own businesses here that we are in full control of. We're just using the data that, that Amazon gives us, right? So when I go to these other ones, I want to see, right? I want to see, Hey, are, are all of these products, right? Like for example, this one being ranked 175 is getting a, a lot of the sales, right? But are the other ones also getting sales as well, right? So if I scroll down here, um, I want to go back to that product detail section and you can see here, this one's ranked 5,300. That's under 20,000. That means this one's selling units each and every single day, right? Let's go look at this one right here. If we scroll down, look, this one's ranked 4,762 in electronics. So this tells me that people aren't just like, Hey, you know what? I'm using, I'm going to buy this one, right? They're, they're, they're using a multitude of these different kinds of products as well. Okay. They're not just flocking to one. Now, if I came here and to all these different ones and all of them were ranked like hundred thousands on, on Amazon's uh, bestseller rank, that would tell me, okay, there's some brand loyalty to this one. But as you can see, this is not the case. There's a tremendous amount of these being sold, which is a, again, a very good sign. Okay. Other things that I like to look for here, and we're going to be going into this a little bit more in detail, uh, towards the end of this video. So make sure you stay tuned, but we always like to look at the frequently bought together as well, right? One of the ways that we build our dropship 
manufacturing businesses, we use sales funnels for them. So we're able to upsell our customers different kinds of products as well. This is a way to so that we can increase our average cart value, increase the amount of uh, the lifetime value of our customers. And at the end of the day, just put more money in our pockets. Okay. So we always like to look what's frequently bought together because we can sell these to our customers at the same time. So for example, this one right here, survival gear, 18 to one emergency survival kit. You could see here, they are, you know, a lot of the people are buying this kit and then they're also buying this, uh, this, uh, this solar, you know, uh, solar charging thing for a phone. And they're also buying this life straw. So that's a good sign for us. That's telling us, right? Okay. We should probably sell these to our customers as upsells since the people are already wanting it. Right. One thing to understand is like when you're selling a lot of the businesses that we review is like, you have to understand like your customer has things that they want to buy. For example, this life straw and this little solar charger, right? They're either going to buy it from you or they're just going to go to Amazon and buy it from, from one of your competitors. So might as well be you. Okay. That's the way you can increase your average cart value and put more money in your business. Okay. So as we can see here, right, the survival kit, there's a ton of these here as well. So we can go and click into all of these and start checking out, well, what are, what are, 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 are the sales dispersed uh, throughout all of these as well, which I'm, sh I'm certain, I'm pretty sure they are. Okay. Cause it's just a basic survival kit. So you can see this one has a ton of different stuff in it as well, right? It's, it has an Amazon's choice badge right there, tons of reviews, and it's ranked 12,000. Not bad, right? Still making a good amount of sales each and every single day. Here's another one, basically the same exact thing. When we scroll down here, to our Amazon bestseller. Okay, so, so look, perfect example. This one's like 84,000, right? So this one, even though it probably sells a few units a day, that tells me that's not selling a ton like these other two are doing, okay? Now, let's go back to our Amazon or uh, to our to the main listing on Amazon right here. Again, when I mentioned that when I'm here, I wanna make sure that there's a lot of different kinds of products for me to sell, okay? I don't wanna go into a niche where there's only like two, three products that I actually can sell. Right here, when I look at the survival niche, all right, when we open this one, up, look how many products come in this, right? There's like this wristband, there's like these flashlights, there's like this knife thing, there's bandages, there's there's all sorts of stuff that come in this thing. Now, what I like to do when I run a business is, especially if you're just getting started and you're a beginner and you just want to get into dropshipping and start making your initial sales easily, is do like free plus shipping offers, do like a deep discount offer, right? Don't try and go and sell a hundred dollar or even a fifty dollar product to start because you don't really understand how to how to sell yet. You don't really understand how to write copy yet. You're probably your ads are probably not going to be really good to start, and that's okay. As you stick with it, you're going to get better, and then you could start charging more premium price products. So what I like to do, and what I suggest you do if you're a beginner and you're just getting started in drop shipping, is look for products that you can give away as free plus shipping offers. Now a free plus shipping offer is essentially where, hey, we're offering, let's say we're going to offer this, you know, this flashlight completely for free, right? And all the customer has to do is we're going to charge them shipping for it. Now that shipping charge, of course, is has some of margin built in for us. So we can actually ship the product to our customer and we can also make a little bit of a profit on it as well. Okay. Now this is something later on that you can upsell them like more of these additional products, but we want to just focus on one specific thing. So what I'm going to do, right? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just type in survival gear right here. I just want to see, well, what kind of other tool or actually we'll do survival tools, right? Cause I want to see how, how are people buying this stuff like individually? So you can see here, boom, they they have like knives and stuff like this. If you do plan to advertise on Facebook, I probably steer clear of anything like knives or anything sharp like this. Uh, just always steer clear of that kind of stuff. Cause it, it can, uh, it can lead you into, um, you know, your account getting banned and stuff like that. You can advertise it, but you just have to be, uh, you just have to be very careful with how you do it. Okay. So we can see here, right? There's a ton of different survival products. There's shovels, there's knives, there's this like sleeping bag, right? There's like these sporks or, or forks or, and stuff like that here. There's like all these different kinds of tools, tons of information products, this little credit card, you know, uh, utility tool right here. And what I'm looking for is just something that catches my eye. And the first thing that did catch my eye was this one right here. So this looked like it was like utensils for a survival, right? And they look very, very, very premium. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into here and you can see they're calling this a tactical spork. So what I want to see is how much are they selling? So you can see here, like this one's like 290, ranked 291 in sports and outdoors. So it's obviously crushing it. They're selling hundreds of these a day, if not more than that. And what this tells me is like, okay, I, this is a ch very cheap product. It's 528, right? That tells me that I can probably get this product for even cheaper, right? I can get this product for even cheaper and offer it as a free plus shipping offer to my customers. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to price this out for yourself. So you are 
profitable as well, okay? So where do we source these products from? When you start finding some of these products that you're getting excited about and you wanna start selling, where, where do we find that from? The first place that I recommend everyone start is just use AliExpress, right? It's the easiest place that you as a beginner can actually test some products out. Now, if you have more budget already and you, you are more confident in your abilities to sell, you're not necessarily a beginner, you're more advanced already, then I do recommend that you just brand your products for yourself and then ship them over. Either way though, it's always good to test the product to see if you can sell it before you go and invest ten thousand dollars or fifteen thousand dollars in inventory just to know if you can even sell it or not right you never want to be in a situation test validate and then brand your products and bring it over okay so what I want to do here is I'm literally just gonna to go to uh, back to this Amazon listing I'm gonna copy and paste tactical spork and I'm gonna just put it right here I'm gonna put it in this uh, search so I'm gonna type in tactical spork and I'm gonna see what results I get as you can see I get very very similar items right very very similar are items to what uh, what I can see on Amazon, right? So what we can do here is there's a lot of different filters. This is honestly the first one that, that caught my eye right here because it comes with like a nice carrying case. It uh, looks like those are foldable. But before we look into all those things, what we want to do is I just want to filter things by orders. I want to see, well, which ones are getting the most orders here. So let's hit that again. All right, guys. So for whatever reason, it doesn't seem to be kind of, Alex seems to be glitching out for me a little bit. But if I just type in like tactical fork right here and I type in tactical fork and I click search, what I want to do is I want to search for by price, right? I want to see what is the cheapest that I can get this product for, okay? I want to see what is the cheapest I can get it. That way my margin is the best, okay? So when we click this, we can sort it by what is our cheapest product, okay? Now, a few of them are going to, there's going to be a lot of different kinds of variations. You could see here, right? This one has like a knife attached to it. So to me, I'm not going to do anything that has like a knife really showing like this because it's going to be a little bit harder to advertise on Facebook. What I'm looking for is something that can fly under the radar uh, and not really, you know, cause any risk, especially if you're advertising with Facebook. If you're not advertising with Facebook, not a problem. You could probably get away with it. So this one caught my eye immediately, right? Because it's a dollar fifty nine, and it looks like it has all these different kinds of uh, utilities on it. It's a bottle opener. It's a spork. It has like these little tool things on it, and it also has like this little carabiner on it as well, which you can attach it to your backpack and stuff like that, right? So here it's showing you all the different things that this thing can do. It's like a hexagon. Uh, uh, thing, uh, tools, you know, all, all sorts of stuff, can opener, spoon, and you could use it for a multitude of ways. And it's very cheap. Here's a rule of thumb when you are actually picking out products that you're going to be selling. Okay, keep it under $3, right? Keep it under $3. The max price that you want to be selling at on a free plus shipping offer is roughly $9.97. That's, that's the most that you really want to get to. If you start charging more, people are going to be like, well, what, what, why is shipping so expensive? Now, not to say you can't do it. I've, I've seen people successfully do free plus shipping offers and charge way, way over, you know, $20, $30, but your offer needs to be really good at that point. You kind of need to have a little bit more experience. And if you're just a beginner and you're watching this, I want to give you those first sales and make it as easy as possible. So here's what I would do if I were you and you were just try, try, for building out your first, you know, uh, drop shipping business and you want to make those sales initially and then start tweaking things after the fact is I would get this product and I would just add a few bucks onto it. Okay. Yes. Your margin might be lower, but you're going to learn a tremendous amount when you actually launch this and see, Hey, where's that price resistance? Okay. Me personally, what I like to do, this is my rule of thumb that I do is I will actually start my price lower, right? I will start my price lower in order to see what or what are my customers going to be purchasing at okay what are they going to be buying at so maybe i'll start with this at like 497 i'll sell it for 497 if people are you know there's a flood of uh, customers coming in the door then i'll start raising my price i'll raise it to you know 697 797 and i'm going to see where is that where's that resistance coming from right where, where where's the drop off that people are starting to not buy the product okay now after you find out what that first initial product is going to be and for me it, this would be the fork this would be this it's cheap, it's easy, and it's something that somebody doesn't really have to think too much about. An impulse purchase always makes things so much easier for you, okay? Because you don't want to, again, when you're advertising on Facebook, Instagram, people are there looking at cat videos and family and stuff like that. They're not necessarily in the zone
willing to buy like when they are on Amazon, okay? So you wanna focus on products that aren't super expensive to, to sell them initially and then sell them your more expensive stuff in your upsell sequences, okay? If you wanna learn more about that, check out the seven figure masterclass down below. I kind of walk you through exactly how all of that looks like. Now, what do you upsell your customer? Well, one of my favorite things to do is ship them from the same supplier, okay? So you see this product right here, it's $1.59. You're, this is where you can also source other products from as well. So you can see this supplier, right? Yofiel uh, Outdoor Equipment Store, they, they it seems like they're gonna offer a ton of different kinds of survival products. So if we just go to their store home right here. So when you go to your supplier's page, you wanna make sure that that supplier is actually specializing in your specific niche, right? So you can see here, when we go over to the products, he's, they're selling camping stuff, hiking stuff, hunting, right? Tent, outdoor, right? And that tells me, okay, all of these pe all of these things are kind of related in one way or another to survival. And they're not trying to sell like, you know, beauty stuff and camping stuff and, you know, hunting stuff. They're, they're selling one specific niche or really just selling a bunch of outdoor equipment here, right? Which is a good sign, right? You want them to specialize in one specific thing. That way you have other additional products and stuff that you could source from them, okay? Okay? And it's important to send your products from the same supplier so your customer actually gets it in the same package, if possible. Now, it's not always gonna be possible. Sometimes you might have to send it from different suppliers and that's okay, that's gonna happen. Just let your customers know that they're gonna arrive in separate packages, right? So when we go to, uh, let's say let's say we go under camping and we just type uh, click camping right here, we'll see that they have like a ton of different stuff. So they have different like, camping sets, they have the forks, they have all, all this sorts of stuff. Now, what I wanna do is I actually wanna see, do they have survival? So I saw survival tools here so that fits our niche a bit more so let's look at what they're doing there now you could see here interesting oh so here's a, here's another good seller right here so here's actually a very good product that would actually be a great free plus shipping offer again so they already told us when we were doing our Amazon research that this is a product people were buying a lot of so one thing that you could do is you could upsell your customers this right now this product is only 90 cents so this would one make a great product to, to instead of doing the fork on uh, as the front and front facing offer you could also do this one right because it's very low cost but this is another one that you could just toss in charge you know five to ten bucks for this and your margin is tremendously better just because it's only 90 cents and that is it if you have any questions about today's video let me know guys they're also enter you into in a free 30 minute coaching session with me all you have to do is drop a comment down below on today's video sorry Ali distracting me uh, completely on, on this video over there playing with my dog. So we got to hop off here, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, smash that like button for me. If you loved it, smash that sub subscribe button for me.